Computers with tracking systems are now in our cars and our operating rooms. St. Francis Medical Center purchased the InstaTrack system last year for sinus surgery. Now an eye surgeon is using the $200,000 machine to repair eye sockets. Linda Hosek looks at how it turned one patient's bad luck into good luck. We must warn you, some of the video may be graphic. Taitai Fono Otenero is about to be prepped for high-tech surgery. She has a fractured eye socket from a burglar attack and her left eye is sinking. During the day, this eye seems to be more sleepy than my right eye. So sometimes I feel like I'm putting in effort keeping it open. But an eye surgeon will repair her socket in record time with a probe and a computer that turns a CT scan of her head into a real-time road map. The system is called InstaTrack. The system acts very much like the global positioning systems found in today's cars. It lets him see where he is in the eye socket. That means he can get to the injured area faster with fewer cuts and avoid injuring other areas. Such as the sinuses and more importantly the brain. InstaTrack was designed for sinus surgery. Dr. Camera believes he is the first doctor anywhere to use it for eye surgery. I know you're going to do really well. I am um, pretty sure to. As Dr. Camera scrubs up, Otenero is anesthetized. She has a fracture of the side wall, the floor, and the other side wall. He cuts and raises the tissues to insert a piece of plastic to rebuild the socket floor. He's ready to use the probe to check his position. Right now we're placing the uh, headset on the patient. The headset has sensors to track the probe. Doctors follow it on the computer, which shows three views of the patient's head based on a CT scan. Now, without the InstaTrack, I basically have to guess or guesstimate whether or not my implant went all the way back. With this new computer-assisted equipment, Dr. Cameron knew exactly where he was in the eye. He knew when he had repaired the fracture, he saved 45 minutes, and that meant a lot less trauma to the patient. It leads to faster patient recovery. It makes our surgery uh, not only more efficient, but certainly less stressful as well. And less stress for him. Dr. Cameron no longer has to rely on a few hard copies of CT scans and his own eye to repair eye sockets he can't always see. Linda Hosek, News 8. Otenero was released from St. Francis today. Dr. Cameron says she only has a little swelling around her eye and will soon regain her normal appearance.